Hi, my name's Garrett and welcome to the channel. I raise cattle here in central Nebraska and uh, thought I'd start making videos to share with you what all goes into raising cattle here. Right now we're coming to the end of corn stalk grazing and taking cows are getting loaded up on trucks and sent back to their ranches to calve and eat grass again. So uh, I thought I'd just start make, by making a video a, a day in the life of sending cows back home. Enjoy. <laughs> Good morning! Just got some cows watered this morning at the home place. Some fall cows and bred heifers. And headed to the other side of town where I do my winter job, taking cows on corn stalks in the winter. And right now is that time of year where all of the cows are getting loaded on trucks and going back to their ranches all the time, every day. There's a lot going on. So today, well, yesterday, we had 10 trucks loaded up for Montana, and the 11th truck, the last truck, its transmission went out. So that truck was useless. And we pinned up those cows and took care of them for the night, and that truck will be there at seven this morning. Then we got a saddle up, uh, there's one group going out at 10.30, so we've got to gather those ones. They don't have to go, but two and a half miles is all. And then once those are loaded, we've got another group loading out tomorrow morning, a bigger bunch that's got to, I think it's about seven miles they've got to come. So, And if we happen to get that all done, which we have to, Maybe we can possibly move another bunch to another cornfield, but we'll see what time it is. I'm not planning on it, but it would be nice. So come along with me if you want, and uh, let's go load trucks. Here's our trucker nominee. Hey, last minute, want to go to... Montana. Health papers. Hey. With that truck loaded up, I've got about an hour probably to go water some cows. So that group's easy when it's warm out. It's kind of a pain when it's cold with the hose. You gotta drain it all the way out so it don't get all frozen in the night. Then you don't have a hose. You gotta bring it in a shop and thaw it out. Uh, that hasn't happened to me this year. I've been, I've learned my lesson. So I just figured out that I've been holding this camera so dang close to my face and I apologize. But I wanted to show you this stay fix fence tester. But every field I go to, I put it on the wire. That's reading five right now, which this fencer, when it's on a full battery, it's running 8.2. Five's good enough for my personal cows. They don't get out. You can see it clicking. Not very high. But it's still pretty hot. Then run on battery. And batteries, we go through so many batteries to start power units and run fencers. And when it's cold and it's negative 30, they don't stay charged. So something we have to help these solar panels that is not getting the sun yet but you just hook it up to your terminals there hook up your battery get a good ground hook it up to the fence and it's running 
four miles here. So here we are with with the cows. You guys will see all year long. Got a couple in here. Got some salt blocks they're coming to or protein tubs. There's a couple over here having dessert before breakfast, it looks like. So we'll start this well and it's pretty full. But I don't know what time of day I'm gonna be back here, so we'll just start it up. Top it off. Two cows probably weren't coming for salt. So they like that protein. Some cows don't like other cows touching their protein tub. Well, that's just going to be too bad because that one was there first. This one just got dropped in here. She, she had a fall calf. I had four falls that I. Just got weaned and kicked in here. So they both think that they own the place now. But we'll do a quick run through these cows on our way on out of here. About to bring these ones home. Help more feed at home longer. Bush. You got a cob, corn cob pipe, and a button nose. Nine fifteen. She's always full as a tick. Some cows just are. So some cows got out and turns out it's the group that we were maybe at the end of the day gonna move. So they are making sure of it that we make that happen today and that we fit it into our schedule. Uh, so we're gonna saddle up and go move them, then gather another group load them and gather another group drive another group and water again that should be our day gonna ride bow today first then i'll catch you later i'll split it up today we got tea chip and bow
gave me a ride back in his side by side so we didn't have to ride back and we're gonna I'm gonna pick up these fellas here pedestrians with ponies and we're gonna go move some more We're gonna go on a little drive, buddy. Where's your mama? We're getting close on this group. Go right up here, load them out. Trucks are waiting. We got one cow that's stifled. We gotta go back for the trailer pull her on and we'll just trailer her over here but we're about there with this crew got our four calves sorted off so they don't get scrunched those cows are all loaded on trucks ate at Arby's in the drive through line on the curb because they wouldn't let us go inside. Here's some. Now I got Watch Catalyst Golden caught for the afternoon ride. He was coming up to me. Wanting me to catch him. Thought I forgot about him, but we'll take care of that. So our trucks are all loaded for today, but we got to get ready for tomorrow. So these cows in here got to go home. We got to get around uh, the cows we moved this morning, which are out there. And we got to go to over by that elevator right over there seven miles and got a fresh horse he's ready to go but grandpa was watering them one last time and I just lowered the fence and we'll go do it to it like Pruitt used to do it These tapaderos are getting kind of warm. It's upper 70s right now, which is, it's warm. <laughs> so we're gonna go get these guys. I know there's not a whole lot to show in moving cows. Sometimes it just takes a long time and it's just animals walking but i hear him yipping and shouting up there so he's ready to move them so we'll go do it too catch you later Well, we made it uh, seven miles and, uh, well, almost, we about got them panned up, but that was hot. Everything was getting hot. It just got, it got long. Everybody had their fields torn up deep and uh, we're here. So it was a full day. Go water cows. I'd like a drink of water, some chapstick. Go home and water cows.
guys, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try to get it answered. Or if you want to tell me about how shaky my camera work was, you can leave it there too. Thanks for joining and have a good one.